Welcome everyone to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS. Today we will going to discuss a very important and interesting topic over hyperspectral data processing inside ArcGIS Pro. So have you ever wonder how we can uncover the hidden light? That's where hyperspectral imagery comes in. It is an advanced remote sensing technology, you know, that capture and analyze the information across the hundreds or even thousands of narrow wavelength bands in electromagnetic spectrum. So unlikely it's a regular image hyperspectral sensors whether on an airborne platform or a satellite. Okay. So basically collect the data in a continuous spectral bands. So this high spectral resolutions allow us to identifying the objects and the material which is based on the unique spectral signature providing the incredible insights into the components of the sur earth surface. So now let us talk about the ArcGIS Pro. Okay. So this is ArcGIS Pro and this is a powerful tool to support the hyperspectral image in a popular raster formats like TIFF, NV along with the uh, net CDF format. Okay, so we are going to focus. Okay, so net CDF for the emit imagery and NV formats for the average imagery. So, however, here we are having a quick tips to give you. Okay, how we are going to open it. Mm -hmm. Okay, not all these formats, whatever I mentioned. Okay, so that is not directly browse or drag and drop in the catalog. Okay. So there is a certain process. So in the pan, like a regular re raster data sets which you are adding. So the best way to bring the hyperspectral data into your map, you can use this add data button. Okay, so not this one. You just go drop down this add data button, and here you see there is an option called hyperspectral data. So you can select that, and now you need to give input the data where you have the data sets. Okay, so you see here I already have one data of high map okay with me in the cook city so that is radiance format okay, only mm -hmm. okay so i am just directly opening that particular file okay so i already have calculated the flush corrected reflectance file but i am not opening it because it is directly it will take you the raster product file so now you can adjust here the band okay so band selection method you have to select that Okay, and you have to check on this dynamic range adjustment. Okay. So once you did that, let's see how these data sets are opening. So let's click on OK, and you just see this is how the hyperspectral data is directly open. So how we'll know this is the hyperspectral? So by just watching the number of bands. So if you click this okay that symbol pattern symbology will pan will open and if you drop down this you can see there is lot of bands which can open here directly so as we know like more number of bands means there is a more chances of identification so whether you are doing the mapping vegetation health or monitoring the water quality or identifying the minerals Okay, so hyperspectral imagery, you can say it's it in ArcGIS Pro. It's actually open up a whole new world for us for doing a lot of work and the possibility for us. Okay, so this specific support of hyperspectral data, which is newly added in 3.4 versions, which is came. So I will always suggest it. You just try it with these versions. Okay, now you see. How are you going to enhance this? Okay, so if you see here, this a by default it is coming, so that's why it is not stretched out. Okay, so if you want to stretch, okay, so you can stretch from here. Okay, suppose I am going to give stochasticization. Uh, okay, so if it is not pending much, so better it will go with the standard deviations. Okay, so that is giving a much more realistic view over it. Okay, so now the next is see here you can get the values. Okay, special values. Of the three bands which is open by default okay so now how we will going to change it how you can go to change this to uh, create a spectral curve that is the question over here 
so to creating the spectral car what you need to do you just see here i want to see the spectral car of vegetation suppose okay so i will just right click okay so you just see here you all know about this create chart options now you see here there is a new tool which call as a spectral profile so you can create a spectral profile directly from this image now suppose i want to create a two spectra one is over the vegetation another one spectra which i want to create over the building so then i will take this point okay and then simply click over the vegetation you see i got the vegetation spectra yes this is a radiant spectra so that's why you are finding uh, the curve like this in the similar way you can open the uh, the spectra okay of reflectance so you will get the vegetation spectra accurately now similarly if i want to take the another spectra over this build built up so i can simply select it and you just see here i got a spectra over there also okay so see here there is a changes in a spectral pattern like this way you can generate a spectral profile for many different bands okay so that is the new tool which is added in arcgis uh, pro okay is newly added tool and if you go in analysis okay so if you go and see the toolboxes okay so there sam is also added as him sam okay or you can type uh, speed spectral angle so if you see spectral unmixing sorry 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 so spectral see here linear spectral unmixing technique okay linear spectral mixing so all the tools is now available which you require to process the hyperspectral data okay usually we do this okay linear spectral mixing techniques okay and so many other techniques which you are going to applied over the data sets you can do that you can do that that tool is newly added okay so as you see there is a new another new tool which is added that is classify steer raster uh, using spectra see this is the another hyperspectral tool which is also given to you here like classify the multiband raster data sets using the spectral matching uh, technique um, the input spectra that can be provide as a point feature or classes in a dot json files so that is the wonderful thing over here okay we can directly use that classes for the classifying um, uh, the data which over the hyperspectral image we can do using this particular tool okay so that is also a new tool i am not showing you this so in future maybe i will come with a separate lecture on this but as you seen here over this i can apply the spectral angle mapping classifications okay and spectral information divergence classification so both the technique i can do so only things i need to add the uh, inputs and the spectral points okay so that i have to collect okay so that is using the uh, the sample manager okay so we can do that so i am just going to do a continuous studies on that so you just see here training sample manager which we have to collect the the samples first okay and we have to create it over the um, uh, the reflectance image not the radiance image okay so once we did that then only we can able to classify it and uh, that is the same kind of work which you are doing in nv for hyperspectral um, uh, data processing uh, that is uh, the similar kind of things you can do it in arcgis pro it's a very good movement okay so which a new tool which is given it to here okay so uh, i will come with uh, the total data processing techniques over it okay how we can do it okay very soon we will come with such video okay but this is a very first steps okay so you can definitely explore your data uh, just to opening in arcgis pro directly before close one more thing which i just try to show you that is uh, over the um, uh, flash connected spectra if i want to open it here the reflectance curve exactly over the vegetation how it is going to show i just want to show you that also it will be quite interesting okay so for that i am just trying to open one uh, hyperspectral data which is supported in nv as the nv file is also supported see here is a flash corrected so it will be directly open so no worry of that okay so i am just trying to open that file and uh, you just see here i it can directly open it also yes so now this close this one spectral property okay and uh, you can now stretch this video oh, sorry okay so i can 
just simply do the standard deviations okay and now i want to see the uh, spectral curve of the vegetation so, very interesting so let's do it so i can just simply right click go to the create and spectral profile okay so take these points and just simply click on over this and see this is the perfect vegetation spectra whatever it will be we are getting exactly with that okay so if you want to go for any this one so you can go with a built up and you see this built up how this is coming so this is the way you can add a multiple different spectra and you can give the spectral profile name okay so you just see here this is a profile one this is a profile two okay so you can able to control it from here also okay <coughs> so if you want to export this graphic okay so you can export this graphic okay so if you want to uh, put some comment over here something okay so you can type so you can type it all also or anything. so all these options which will be given it to you here okay by selecting some particular thing okay zoom over somewhere so all the things you can able to do it over here so that is the beautiful thing is okay so i hope uh, that is what i just uh, trying to show you like how uh, we can uh, open up uh, spectra over here okay and uh, how we can see it the exactly the vegetation spectra over the reflecting stars okay so thank you thank you very much thank you all so if you like this video i will request to please share this video with the others okay and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel because many people you are watching but still you are not subscribing so i am requesting you please subscribe my channel okay and support me thank you thank you very much all.